Hello viewers, I'm Caesar, lecturer in English. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson from Junior Intermediate Pros. The name of the lesson is The Art of Wicket Keeping, written by Ram Chandra Goha, a world famous columnist, cricket commentator, and a journalist. In the small town in northern India where I grew up, the preferred punishment for an errant child was known as the Uttak Baita. Squat and stand up and down, up and down, 20 times in succession and preferably with hands on ears. Fine preparation one might say for that most complicated of cricketing tasks, keeping wickets. Ramchandra was born in a small town in northern India. He grew up there. The preferred punishment for an errant child, for an indisciplined child, for a mischievous child is Uthak Baitak. We call it in English sit ups. That too, 20 sit ups in a succession is given as a punishment in a school in northern India. The same act can be seen in cricket. In technical terms, it is called keeping wickets. The job of a wicket keeper, the job of a stumper is keeping wickets behind the batsman. The demands, both mental and physical, of wicket keeping greatly exceed those of batting, bowling, or failing. The burden or the responsibility is far more than the bowler and the batsman. There is not much demand from a batsman or a bowler. They have quick excuses. They have variant chances unlike a wicket keeper. A wicket keeper carries an additional weight like pads, gloves. But a bowler or a fielder doesn't have this sort of additional weight. There is the low posture made more uncomfortable by proximity to smelly and unwashed batsmen. A stumper sits close to a batsman who is smelly, stinky because of sweat. Sometimes the batsman may be unwashed also. A wicket keeper must be vigilant and he must be fearless. A wicket keeper doesn't fear the pace of the ball. A quick turning ball may be from a spinner and he must be vigilant. That means alert. And he needs to go up and down, sideways also, sometimes. Willing to be hit on his heart or on his head. He must focus and focus relentlessly. And a wicket keeper must focus continuously and he shouldn't lose his concentration at any cost. Regardless of the state of the game and the shrieks of the crowds and he cannot ever give it less than 100%. If we see, if we observe the game in a live stadium environment, we understand that the audience do much noise. They, they do shrieks. It perturbs the concentration of a wicket keeper. It causes pressure. It keeps great pressure on the wicket keeper, fielders, even in such conditions as well. He must not lose his concentration and he must always give 100% not less than 100% and he must always reach the maximum heights than what is expected from the audience and sometimes even that might not be enough even though he does all this it may not be enough while the bowler can rely on another spell 
The batsmen can look forward to the second innings. The stumpers mistakes are remembered long after the event. If the batsman is out for zero, he may get one more chance to prove his ability. If the bowler failed to take up wickets, he gets one more spell so that he can get some wickets. This is not there for a wicket keeper. If he drops down a catch, we can't say he may get a chance. So a wicket keeper's job is quite virulent, quite tough and it is always demanding. And the mistakes of a stumper are remem remembered long after the event. No audience can excuse the mistakes of a stumper because the stumpers of a wicket keeper, the stumper or a wicket keeper, whatever mistake he commits, the mistake is remembered long after the event. Because of that mistake, the match may go out of hands. The shadow of victory may take a U-turn. So for that reason, no one accepts the mistakes of a stumper so that we can understand the job of a wicket keeper is quite demanding and it is quite risky also. He dropped some eggs when he was five. And the blighter scored a double hundred, a triple hundred actually, go back to Lord's 1990, when poor Kiran More missed Graham Gooch before he had reached double figures. Gooch went on to score 333 and the Indian cricket fan always so quick to judge and to condemn was prepared to forget More's many previous contributions to Indian cricket. So if you take an incident way back to 1990s, Kiran More dropped down the catch of Graham Gooch when he was 5 runs, when he scored just 5 runs. The moment he dropped the catch, he went on hitting runs, went on hitting runs. Finally, he made 333 runs. An average Indian fan who doesn't even know the ABCs of cricket, he is quick enough to judge Kiran More's capability and caliber and even couldn't forgive Kiran More for such a mistake. And the mistake which helped Graham Bush to score a triple hundred, 333 runs. No one tried to remember Kiran More's previous contributions to Indian cricket. They forgot all about that and they started judging Kiran More's ability behind the wickets. This is how a wicket keeper is judged so quickly and his contributions are forgotten quicker than his success. A respect for wicket keeping and wicket keepers was drilled into me early by my father. The first big match he witnessed was played between rest of India and the Ranji Trophy champions. The passion for cricket, zeal for cricket was drilled into Ramachandra Guha's heart was by his father. He was taken to stadiums, different different stadiums and he was encouraged to watch live matches. Similarly, he was taken by his father to watch, to watch a match between Ranji Trophy Champions Maharashtra and rest of India in 1941. Rest of India was captained by Lala Amarnath, who at various times in the match batted, bowled, fielded and kept wickets. So, Rest of India was captained by Lala Amarnath. He bowled, he fielded, he batted and he played the role of a stumper in that match. Ever since then, my father regarded the ability to keep wickets as the pinnacle of cricketing achievements my own modest experience as an active cricketer confirms this. There is nothing I found more taxing on the field of play than standing behind the wickets. 
as an active cricketer also i remember till this date that the job of wicket keeper is more taxing than any of the jobs in cricket even my modest experience and my father's opinions stand at equilibrium in this instance keeping wickets is not so easy the job of a stumper is not so easy it is more laborious quite taxing than anything which includes the definition of cricket a bowler takes rest a batsman can relax himself but a keeper can't do so there is a relationship of mutual and deadly dependence between the wicket keeper and the bowler there is an interrelationship between a bowler and a wicket keeper because only a keeper knows the style and the stylistics of a bowler and his genre of technique indeed the development of wicket keeping has been heavily determined the character of the bowling the major aspect of wicket keeping is judging the psychology of the bowler the quality bowling determines the depth of the wicket keeper the australians in the 70s gave us a remarkable partnership of rodney marsh and dennis lilly one took a staggering 95 catches of the other so well did they work together that at one time they also held the world record of the longest distance travel by an egg in the air without breaking lilly of course threw the egg while marsh safely caught it rodney marsh took 95 catches of dennis lilly's bowling this shows how good he is at dennis lilly's bowling and there is one more record behind them that is rodney marsh took the longest to travel leg in the air without being broken which is thrown by dennis lilly this is of course a staggering record in world cricket indian crowds alas never saw the duo play but from film clips radio commentaries and written accounts it is clear enough that marsh redefined the craft of wicket keeping craft skill skilled ability can be called craft of course no indian fan couldn't watch these two great players of cricket from australia play but we can come to know we can get to know about them from encyclopedias cricket commentaries and radio clips of course but to our surprise we have to have a surprising info about rodney marsh for a short stout man his agility his quickness behind the wickets was quite amazing and his quickness amazes any bowler any batsman across the board as far as cricket and history of cricket are concerned he is a matchless wicket keeper and he ref- he redefined the craft of wicket keeping for any youngster who wants to become a professional wicket keeper rodney marsh stands as an epitome an insignia a rightful example like an encyclopedia he gives impetuous knowledge unfathomable info about the art of wicket keeping